Ooh, double garter, no, triple. Triple garters. Here, oh, there's like a, a bumblebee nest right there. One garter stuck around. Okay, not too bad. Is there anyone in the layers? These boards are coming apart. Oh, there goes that snake. We'll put that back down, keep looking around. All right guys, right now I'm out at some local spots, flipping boards for snakes. We're hoping for milk snakes. I haven't checked these spots much yet this year, so we're just gonna see what happens. All right, so the bad part about the spot is it is just all poison ivy. I didn't know that when I put the boards out here, but let's see if the snakes don't mind. This garter snake doesn't mind the poison ivy. He's deep in shed. You can see he's got blue eyes like that. He's a sleepy guy, whoops, accidentally scared him. He's gonna leave, but he'll come back, I'm sure, as soon as I'm gone. Let's keep checking, try not to get poison ivy. All right, this one's a stack, it's got two layers. Sometimes that's really good. Today, oh. that's not the case, apparently. All right, no one. Nobody. This one's really buried. I'm trying to clear stuff so I don't need to touch poison ivy. Oh, there's poison ivy there. To... After all that, nothing. Ooh, milk snake. That has to be the ugliest milk snake I've ever seen. Is there anyone in the cracks of this? No. But man, I hope we do better than that tonight. <laughs> All right, Eastern Milk Snake. This is, man, obviously uh, appearance isn't everything. Snakes have their wonderful roles that they play in the ecosystem, but I do like seeing nicely colored snakes. And this is just, it's deep in shed. And uh, I think even out of shed, it would not be an attractive individual. <laughs> so. Anyway, he's probably going to shed his skin under this board, and uh, I think I'm just going to let him go right here. We're going to keep looking. All right, way too much poison ivy at that spot. Hopefully I don't regret that later. All right, so I flipped this thing before and it looked really good, but there was nothing under it last time. Let's see about today. All right, so nothing under that segment. No, not that either. All right, old barrel. Let's see. Nobody. All right, I flipped this once before. I thought it looked really good, but there's nothing under it last time. Double garter. It's about time there's something in this. Man. Running into these guys lately. I love it when rat snakes do this. It's so funny. How they kink up. Had to swerve around this guy, was not expecting him whatsoever, but let's go ahead and help him across the road. It's been a little bit since I've seen a rat snake. They're pretty common in this area. Well, buddy, you're lucky it was me that ran into you, not someone else. Anyway, hope he's climbing up me. Let's get him in the direction he was going. And we're gonna carry on. All right, I have a feeling this is gonna be the one today. It was not the one today. All right, will this be the one today? I kind of feel like it will be, but it was wrong last time. It was for a garter. That's a, oh, got away. Dang it. That was kind of a cool looking garter. I wanted to show you guys. All right, redemption board. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that's a nice milk. I wonder if that's one that I found before here. It, Yeah, it's kind of got like a bum eye on one eye and it's really orange. You can see it's got a massive meal in it. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple pictures and hopefully we don't need to handle this guy too much. All right, just because I've seen this snake before, and specifically because it's got a massive food bolus. Clearly ate a couple rodents or something like that. I'm actually not gonna pick this snake up. I got a cell phone picture as is, and you can see, I know it's the same snake because it's got a bum eye on one of its eyes. 
I hope that other eye isn't a bum eye too. Other eye is a little foggy. I, I don't know if it's just going into shed or is shed stuck eye caps, but I'm just gonna gently put this back down and uh, leave him to it. All right, I'm racing over to the next spot. Right now we're kind of running low on time. It's getting dark out. This was just supposed to be a quick outing, but I don't think I gave myself enough time before dark. All right, it's getting dark quick out here, so we gotta quickly move through these boards. Just trying to whack away the poison ivy, which seems to be everywhere right now. Nothing under there. All right, this board is like the best board at this little spot, in my opinion. It's got a garter. Whoa. Okay. Oh, almost missed this little one. Cool checkers on them. <laughs> Gently put that back down. All right. Wow. Lots of tunnels. Looks really good. I'm sure they use it. All right, big long board of wood. Oh, there's a garter down here. Oh, another garter right here, asleep. That's good, it's getting use already. And then here's another one of the garters, or was another one of the garters. This one should be a good board eventually. It's got plenty of space. I need to get back to the car. I'm getting attacked by those like giant invasive mosquitoes. I forget what they're called. Maybe like tiger mosquitoes or something like that. I'm gonna keep moving. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark out. It keeps focusing on my face, but you know, our time is limited here. All right, this is a relatively new board. I stuck out here. I thought that would, I thought it would do well the spot. And would you look at that? <laughs> it did do well at the spot. Nice. Well, it's not winning any awards for its coloration, but clean patterning, good looking snake. I kind of like the head. It's got nice spots and stuff on it. He's real uh, antsy to go back to his board, so I'm gonna let him do just that. All right, sorry for the subpar video of this snake, but I'm getting drilled by mosquitoes out here, and the light that I have right now does not mount on top of my camera, so ah, I'm getting bit in the back really badly by a mosquito. All right, so I put this one out just at the same time as that other one that just had a snake under it. I put it up against these rocks because I thought that they would draw on some snakes. Let's see. If we are correct. Oh my god. Holy cow. That's bright red. Oh my god, guys. Hold on. Can't let it get away. It's a giant, almost bright red Eastern milk snake. Holy cow. That is just awesome. I just put both of those boards out. Look how red that is. I don't know if it's coming out on camera. He's trying to eat me right now. That guy is so red for this spot. Wow. I'm glad I came in unchecked. All right, let's just check this one. I just alerted whatever's under here. I'm trying to hold this one and flip this board. Huh, <laughs> there's a garter perfectly coiled. I'm gonna leave that one alone. All right, I haven't even gotten to the boards here where I've actually found milks, and I've already gotten this red behemoth and another one. All right, last board at this site. Man, that'd be crazy if I got another. All right, guys, it's not gonna show up on camera, but this is by far the nicest Eastern milk I've found at this spot. I mean, it's red. It's such a good looking snake. All right, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera. I'm using my iPhone, honestly, because my good camera kind of doesn't really show off the color. So props to iPhone for, for being able to capture this, but that is a really good looking snake. Obviously being from this area, it's got some traces of brown to it, but it's like red, red for this area. Like, look at that. Damn, that's awesome. Might even try to take a camera picture of this snake see how it goes all right well that is exceptionally awesome it's deciding to give me one last bite before we depart that's funny all right there you go buddy got some good pictures of it and uh 
letting it go back under. That's just sweet though. All right, between the ticks, the giant, like massive invasive mosquitoes and the first spot being entirely covered in poison ivy, I don't know if I'm gonna have a single square inch of skin that is not itching after this, but anyway, maybe worth it. We'll have to see when the poison ivy sets in. But that last milk was by far the best that I've seen in this area. Easterns typically turn brown, kind of like even the first one we found in this video that was dark and gross looking. Uh, so they're just super, super variable. That one was bright red. And what's so cool is that those two boards I put out like two months ago at the same time, I found them on the side of the road, someone was throwing them out and I took them to this area where I get a lot of milk snakes and like that, they've got milks under them. So super awesome. We're gonna have to wrap things up, so if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching, subscribe for more like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.